our core values and our personal mission statement are the foundation for our crystal clear vision. You're listening to Working Forward, a future of work focused podcast from People Forward Network. These episodes pave the road ahead, helping us confidently step into the future as a leader who moves people forward. Let's go. Hey, it's Nikki Llewellyn Gregory, and this is the Dream Chase and Lead Others to Dream series. This episode is intended to inspire and challenge you and me. Let's design our ideal life, define our dreams, believe in ourselves, and go take action. Now let's get to it. Hey, it's Nikki Llewellyn Gregory back on the Working Forward podcast, and I wanted to start today's episode with my personal mission statement. I've had a personal mission statement since my mid-20s when I hired my first coach. And for many years, it was the same thing. I've been working on elevating that and making it a little sharper as I have grown as a person. And I wanted to share it with you. Here it is. I inspire people to dream by helping them dream and design their ideal life to gain clarity on the steps to go get those dreams. I think I'll continue to polish that, but right now that draft version is what I'm using and I wanted to share why I do this episode because my passion, a huge passion for me, is overcoming mediocrity in life and just kind of coasting and not believing we can and we're worthy and to go design your ideal life because, man, this time goes fast and to inspire people on how to dream and to go get those dreams as leaders, if we model the way and we are dreaming and doing these things, we're more energized, right? And just the the vibrations that we give off to the people that we're around are going to be much more powerful and impactful. Now, as leaders, to take what we've learned and go share it with others to help them dream and to go get those dreams, wow. If the workplace and the leader that we're working with is helping us as an individual to do that, talk about engagement. You'll see the vibrations of those people louder and their energy is on fire because they're working towards aligning the work that they do with the dreams that they're pursuing. So that's why we're here. In the Working Forward podcast, we want to help more leaders design work experiences that are meaningful. So there's various topics and I'm just honored that I get to do one that I'm so passionate about dreaming. So The past episodes that we've done so far, we've talked about overcoming what holds us back from dreaming, identifying those blockers and working through those because they're not worth it. They are so not worth it. Time flies. And the greatest thing that you can do for yourself is to get clear on why you're here and to use those God-given strengths to go put out into the world and make it better. You're going to feel so much more fulfilled when you do that. And so we've got to overcome what holds us back from dreaming and going and chasing those dreams. The second episode that I shared is about believing you can. We must believe we can in order to do the things. And so working on our belief, it's something that we have to constantly do. It's not like, oh, okay, I believe now. It's a constant effort to believe you can and to go get those those dreams. So I want to walk through a crystal clear vision today. And we all need one. We need a crystal clear vision. And I shared with you my personal mission statement because I think our core values and our personal mission statement are the foundation for our crystal clear vision. We have to live in our values and our mission just like a company does. And if our company has a vision, a mission, and values, we sure need one as individuals. So I want to share with you my core values. There's five of them. Relationships, excellence, inspiration, innovation, and results. Those are all so important to me, and they have helped to formulate core values that we have at People Forward Network. Having the right relationships that surround us, that help elevate us and that we spend time pouring into those people around us. There's nothing greater on this earth than the humans that we get to interact with. And gosh, it's just so important to spend time for me aligning with those key relationships and making sure that I'm pouring in and 
asking them for help to help support me pursuing excellence. To me, that is getting better every time, doing my very best. Each day's very best is very different. And as long as I know I gave it my best shot, that is core value to me. Inspiration, positivity, making sure that what surround us surrounds us from our environment to the words that we use and what we are putting into our minds from what we consume, content, books we read, podcasts we listen to. Inspiration is so important. Innovation, finding a better way. That is how I do life, finding a better way. It's actually been proven by a tool that I use called the YOS. If you've never uh, tried that tool out, go look it up. It's so awesome. If you need a code for that tool, our team has some available. We'd love to share that with you. That tool, YOS, helps us to identify our why, our how, and our what. And I found that my why was clearly articulated as find a better way. And to me, that is innovation. Um, just constantly looking for ways to drive efficiency, do things better. Uh, I love innovation. And then finally, results. I am a results-wired person. One of the first uh, assessment tools that I ever took was the DISC. And it sure shows that I am focused on results and I don't feel good unless I've got a result in mind. Sometimes I balance that with who I be without doing. But results are so important to me because I feel like When I shared my mission statement, I inspire people to dream by helping them dream and design their ideal life to gain clarity on the steps to go get those dreams. Go get those dreams, the results that we are creating. So it's one thing to put it on paper. It's another thing to go do it. I encourage you in designing your crystal clear vision, what is your mission statement and what are your values and clearly being able to articulate those. I have a book that I use, like a journal book, and each year I have a new one. And in that book, I put all of my brainstorming and planning and defining my my mission statement and drafting that out and, and optimizing and making it better. My life wheel that I probably have shared with you or is on many other podcasts I talk about and I will talk about today is in there. My word of the year, all of these things are in this one book that I use all year long. And it's so fun to look back at past books. I think reflection is so important as we plan for the future and to see our past dreams and what we've done to accomplish dreams and um, using those books to keep us focused, but also to reflect and celebrate the progress. Now, I think in pursuing our crystal clear vision, the second step is around defining our long term, our end game, visualizing success. The way that I do this is through the life wheel. Addicted to Betterment is another podcast that I do, and it's much about the life wheel. And on our website at Addicted to Betterment, we have links out to the life wheel. I'll help you walk through it for a second for yourself just to get a visual. If you were to take a piece of paper, an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, let's say, and up top, you might have your, um, your vision statement, your mission statement, your word of the year just to kind of center you, just some sentences up top. Now, the majority of this paper is going to be one big circle. So draw that big circle and then cut that circle into eight pieces of pie. So you're going to take your paper, draw a circle, and cut it into eight pieces of pie. Each of the eight pieces of pie are your core areas that make you whole. I'll share mine. God, my husband, health, work finances, relationships, personal growth, and fun. All of us have different ones. You could Google image to see many different uh, concepts for this. Whether it's six sections or 12 sections, I have found eight sections to be the sweet spot, but you do you. You'll see many different versions of this. The point is each of the pieces of pie are the different hats that we wear, the things that we get to quote unquote balance the areas that we want to keep front and center as our focus areas, this helps us to visualize our future and success and to define long-term goals. So I suggest in each area, what's your end game? What are you going for? What does great look like? What is ideal in each area? And I would consider that long-term. 
Where, what are we going for? What's a 10 out of a one to 10 scale? And just jotting out and journaling in each area, maybe keywords that help you get clarity there, or just writing pages that support that. What does ideal look like in each of your pieces of pie? And spend time visualizing that. Our vibrations, how we feel, really leads a lot of our future and where we go and how we have to feel the feelings of that. And so it's not just about putting pen to paper and defining long term goals or our end game, but it's also spending time regularly visualizing success. What that looks like for me, I love a morning routine. We'll probably have an episode on this series about a morning routine because I'm so passionate about how we spend our mornings predicts our day. And I use my book. I told you I have a journal book and my 2024 journal book has my word of the year up top. It has inspire inside the cover of my journal book. I have my personal mission statement. And then on the very first page, I have my life wheel. And then off to the sides, it has the words in each piece of pie about what is the long term, What is the, the 10, the ideal? And I look at it every single morning every single morning. So I encourage you to do the same in gaining clarity on your crystal clear vision for where you're going. And now let's talk about breaking this down into action plans for each area. And this takes time. I want to share with you that this takes time. Just like at work, you spend time working on a strategy, days and months working on your strategy. Are you doing that for you? You're more important than any workplace that you're that you're in. Yes, your workplace helps you live out your vision for your future. But if we're spending lots and lots of time strategizing for work or strategizing for our kids or our finances, we need to do that for ourselves. And all of those things roll up into who we are. But spending time with creating an action plan for each of these things is so important. So I would encourage you to, as far as creating your crystal clear vision, you've defined your 10, go ahead and spend time journaling. What does this quarter or the next six months look like? What do I want to accomplish this year towards that ideal and starting to lay out an action plan for what is the focus? What are the most important things? If you were to say the one thing or the the two or three things that are going to help you get there, that's what an action plan looks like to me. Now, let's uh, wrap this up with uh, two things. One, what are the habits that you need, the daily habits, the weekly habits that are going to help you get there? So in order to pursue our vision, that crystal clear vision, the life wheel serves as a tool, a tool for us to look at every day or very regularly. And then to think about Behind the action plans that we've jotted down, those core things that we want to accomplish in the next three, six, or nine months, whatever that is. Now, what are the daily habits, the daily disciplines? You'll quickly see, and I'm sure that you can follow me in concept here. If one of the areas of our life wheel is off, really off, say our health is off, we don't feel good, the rest of the life wheel is really challenged. So there is a facet of balance. I don't think that there's equal balance across the board ever, but it is the importance of juggling the balance of our priority of time to be able to holistically affect everything that's on this life wheel. And it really boils down to our daily habits. So my morning routine is a daily habit. My consumption of healthy food and a hundred ounces of water and 120 grams of protein a day and making sure that I move my body and close my rings on my, my Apple watch. Those are examples of habits. So when you think about the core values that are rooted in your vision, like your core values lead a lot of this, think about the daily habits that you have to do in order to be your best to pursue this stuff. And finally, staying inspired is so important. I know it's one of my core values, but it's important for all of us. We have to stay inspired. And it's about the people that are around us, the things that we're reading and listening to. So when you think, 
hey, here are my core focuses for the year, the action plans I'm working on. What are you reading? Who are you talking to? What are you letting into your mind that is affecting the inspiration that you have to keep going? That's really important. And it might be one of your habits is every day for 10 minutes, I'm going to read or I'm going to listen in order to help me with my pursuit in reaching these things. I am on this journey with you to dream and to do, to go accomplish these things. When we model the way for others, it's so powerful. They watch what we do and they adopt our practices by us showcasing and just walking and modeling the way. So first, we have to make sure our cup is filled and that we are modeling the way because we're pouring into ourselves to be the vision for reaching dreams and going and doing them in order for us to share with others by A, just modeling the way through our behaviors, but the other is then coaching and mentoring these people on our experiences and asking great questions to help them gain clarity to go chase those dreams, their ideal life, and to take the steps and to be the people that check in with them. Community around us is so important for us as the individual and to be that for others. I encourage you to get very clear on that vision. Design, define that crystal clear vision and share it a lot. Stay focused and help others help you. Go get it. Thanks for tuning into Working Forward. If you like what you hear, please share it with others and make sure you're following the show to not miss an episode. We are available anywhere you get your audio. See you next time.